By now, it's become popular knowledge about Brentford's recruitment strategy, buying for a low price and selling high by finding under-the-radar players. But now they're in the Premier League, how will their system work? How competitive will they be at this level? And also, I'll discuss another side to Brentford that isn't so well-known, but you should know about. Brentford's recruitment model, described by owner Matthew Benham as being a mixture of traditional scouting and other tools, including mathematical modelling. Up to now, it's paid off very well. Ollie Watkins, Saeed Ben Rama, Neil Mopai, Esri Konsa. They're the most recent players Brentford have sold for over £10 million, totaling to £90 million in sales for the club. It's this which has seen Brentford's recruitment model become so well known, but now they're in the Premier League, how does that change? Well, first of all, the clear and obvious thing is that they now have a bigger budget. So previously, in the Champions they've signed players from the French second division and the lower tiers of the English Football League, but now you might see more of the players they sign come from the first division of different countries or the best players from the championship. They've had to search really hard to find talent before, in the lower leagues, players that were cheaper, overperforming at their previous clubs, where they could perform well at the championship and were good for that level. That has now shifted to finding talent at a level above what they were searching through before. It can still be players under the radar, but the level of what they're at needs to be higher than, say, what Ben Rama and Morpai were when they were coming from the French second division. For example, Brentford's new signings, Ayer and Onyeka, who I'll be discussing later as to why they're good signings, so you'll want to stick around for that, they're now Brentford's top two most expensive signings. £14 million and £9 million. They're paying more, but for players who are of the quality to play at this level. They're not paying inflated fees, but they're still players with the same potential of developing into better players where they could be sold on for higher amounts. They could perform at a really high level, where we're thinking why wasn't there more interest in these players, but that's exactly what Brentford are trying to do. The signing of midfielder Frank Onyeka is a very interesting one. Brentford's owner Matthew Benham also owns Danish club FC Micheland, which is where he was signed from. This is the first time Brentford have signed a player from the club and used that partnership to sign a first team player, and I'm sure this won't be the last time we see a player make that move. Another midfielder, Jens Kajusta, who I mentioned as a target for Aston Villa in my realistic transfers video, he's at FC Micheland too and could be moving to Brentford this summer. He's also been linked with Newcastle United, but he looks a brilliant young midfielder and was with Sweden at Euro 2020. This connection between the two clubs could see Brentford make some quality signings, players that are of the quality to play at this level and will want to make the move to Brentford to play in the Premier League and in England. Even though the players are getting European football with FC Michelin, they will want to make the move to Brentford to play at a higher level. So this is brilliant for the club, the players, it's a great match and expect to see more of these moves happening regularly. Frank Onyeka is a destroyer in the midfield, stopping the opposition from creating chances as he he tackles, gets stuck in, and is aggressive in the midfield. He could be the type of player that really helps Brentford win matches as he causes upset to the opposition, not letting them get into their rhythm. Thomas Frank has said on Jaeger it's very dynamic, he covers big areas of the pitch, and is a fantastic pressing player, especially going forward. The reason why you should be excited about Brentford in the Premier League is due to their style of play. They're going to be a great team to watch, as similar to Leeds United last season, and Sheffield United in the 2019-20 season, they're going to take take a risk attacking and playing with confidence. And with their squad having the youngest average age in the upcoming season, it means that there's many young players with potential who could have great futures in the Premier League. A top goal scorer in Ivan Toney who scored 31 goals last season, a perfect modern day fullback in Rico Henry on the left, ex-Arsenal academy player Josh De Silva in the midfield is very well rounded and will chip in with some goals throughout the season. This Brentford team is set up with players who can make a name for themselves in the Premier League. They will relish the chance to play at this level and will impress throughout the season. Now, a massive reason as to why Brentford in the Premier League is so interesting is their B team. They ditched their academy and switched to a B team in 2016. It's seen the club carefully and cleverly select hand-pick youngsters to have in the B team where they can focus on a smaller pool of players, with the whole focus of the team based around a path into the first team. Having a B team means that the players in that team can play against better opposition, and with promotion into the Premier League, it now means that better youngsters can be signed for the B team, leading to better players slowly 
slowly being brought into the first team. So the B team is definitely something you need to keep an eye on where Brentford have youngsters who they believe in to eventually take that big step up or at least develop into good players to go elsewhere. A recent example is Mads Bistrup. He's been promoted to the first team and is a player who made his first team debut for the club in April. Now a really special touch by Brentford is how they show the players in the B team their clear intentions of getting players into the first team. What they have at their training ground is a first team debut board which shows a list of players from the B team and the date they made their debut in the first team. What makes this so special is the board is named the Robert Rowan first team debut board. Robert Rowan was the technical director at Brentford before his passing in November 2018. Before becoming the technical director, Robert was part of the Brentford B team overseeing the strategic direction of the squad. So the first team debut board is such a special part of Brentford, not only to allow new signings in the B team to show how Brentford prioritised the B team players and how they make it to the first team, but to remember somebody who made the Brentford B team into what it is today. A fantastic setup that allows young players to take a massive step in their career and now into the Premier League which is how Robert influenced the club. Specifically on Mads Bistrop, he was signed in 2020 from RB Leipzig, a club well known for developing young players. He came into their B team and impressed and as soon as that he gets a chance in the first team. It's expected that Brentford will be switching between a 4-2-3-1 and a 3 at the back formation which they had to do at the end of last season due to injury. Manager Thomas Frank has said, I like us to have the option to play with 3 or 4 at the back because I think how we play depends a little bit on the opposition and how we grow into the season as a team. In either of these formations, Brentford will press relentlessly as they attempt to win the ball and attack on goal quickly, catching the opposition off guard. The addition of Onyeka to the side will make that even more apparent. Pressing aggressive is his exact game and that's why it's such a good and clever signing by Brentford. And of course, any chances created is Ivan Tony, who's going to be the man on the end of them. How many will he score this season? Could he follow in the footsteps of former Brentford striker Ollie Watkins, who scored 14 in his debut Premier League season? If you enjoyed this video, then please click the like button as it massively helps the videos getting found. And for more Premier League insight and analysis, subscribe to Route 1.